my story is I was born and raised in Indianapolis. I've been drawing my whole life. I think it started out with paper sacks and envelopes around the house. I just kind of evolved there. Wasn't allowed to draw on the walls at first. Now they love it. Sixth grade, fifth, sixth grade, in the junior high era is like rap is really this new thing. It's starting to burst out the seams. But even though we're in Indiana, you know, it was like through magazines or videos, I was living this life in New York or in some big city. Like my mind would just take me to these big cities, like what the adventures be like. And what if I could bump into all these different people all the time? And then, uh, so I guess it was a, a merger of a fantasy and a reality world. I think as a child, even going to new fields when it was IMA, field trips, I didn't necessarily comprehend or imagine being a professional artist. Um, I think the most inspiring thing was ever was probably J.J. Evans from Good Time. So that's part one of the bucket hats. A few years ago, so right before the pandemic, I went to the L.A. County Museum, and they had an Ernie Bars exhibit from Past the Palette. So it's my first time in life actually seeing the Good Times painting, or people say the I Want You cover, but it's actually Sugar Shack. So to see this painting, I would think that it was massive, and it was only about this big, you know, maybe like 18 by 24 or something. But when I looked at this piece, it was like I had to walk away, like literally walk away. Like I was in disbelief. I had to go into the hallway, gather my senses. It was like meeting your favorite idol in person for the first time. So like no person had done that to me necessarily that I've met some famous people and it's like, be cool. Like, hey, and you know, you try not to be overly aggressive, but this painting just blew me away to see it in person. It was almost like I had tears in my eyes. It was like when somebody say something religious and it was like something just came over you. It's just like you see something inside of these and they can give you a feeling like when you're there in person like it's just the warmth or like I said it's just like that holy grail feeling and something will speak to you I, I believe and kind of like when people will say well what's the meaning behind this piece what do you see in this piece how does this piece make you feel I guess for me just finding out in life that a lot of people and things that were inspiring and influencing me way before social media because we had to read books or magazines or you would talk to people from these different places and just sometimes just listening to people's stories, I would start seeing things. And uh, that's what would end up in my sketchbooks. So I think it's hard to put me into one piece or even one category or one box, but the piece that I believe just broke me out of the stratosphere and I'm looking because it was just it was just sitting around here a minute ago. I, I got it. Hold on one second. What? This piece right here is the piece that broke me out of the stratosphere. This is the King is Black, which was also in butter last year. Molly and Allen, gang gang, they purchased it. So gang gang has it. The piece was broken by firing and I put it back together. And I feel like my life had been broken and put back together. So the beauty of this the concrete and the steel were hard. The ceramics look hard in exterior, but they're fragile. Kind of like the human mind or the human spirit at times. So I was broken and put back together. I feel like we're all regal, especially black men. We should walk upright with our crowns high. Like we just go through a lot of shit in life. Um, but this was me. So it was like my shining moment and this broken piece, this broken piece got the most press and travel with me to more places and open more doors for me for any art show possible. So I would say, if anything, I'm probably about to cry. If anything that I'm thinking about it now, this piece represents me more than anything in life. And I got a lot of solid pieces out here right now. But this one right here, it represents Gary G. And anybody else who's been broken and had to put themselves back together again.